<laughs> the tire inflation pressure, which is on your door panel there, is the recommended pressure for the load carrying capacity of your vehicle, okay? So, there's a number on there, right? If you open the door, it has tire size, it says here you need to run 35 PSI, okay? This is, I think what they call this with the tire loading TLI or something like that, yeah. Okay, 35, 35 front, 35 rear. Why is that? Well, that's based on the gross vehicle weight here of 6,000 pounds. Okay, here's your tire sizes, 35 PSI, cold pressure, got front axle, rear axle. Okay, so most people think because they change tires, now what? What kind of pressure do I put in them? Well, as long as you bought tires that are equal or greater than the tires you are running now. You never want to run a tire with lower standards, right? You just got to be equal or greater standards. You should be fine at 35 PSI. Because the weight of the truck hasn't changed. So, uh, for instance, there is a tire and wheel... It's called Tire and Rim Association and they establish the numbers for load carrying capacity by size. There's tables, tables. It's got uh, size on one side, goes across, PSI, and how many pounds your tire will hold at certain PSIs, right? Maximum load, so. These are 18, these are 35, 12, 50, 18s, right? Made in USA, LTs. It's got a maximum load rating right here of 34.15. Yeah, where are we at? 34.15 at 65 PSI. Okay, guys, it's getting a little warm in here, but I'm trying to uh, give you some useful information here. Or just to show you, because I've had some uh, comments out there on different forums about inflation pressures, and people uh, don't seem to believe me. They're doing the, the chalk test and stuff like that. The chalk test. That might work. Not very scientific, though, okay? So I got the charts here from the... It's the association, yeah. The Tire and Rim Association puts out load charts. Tired load limits at various inflation pressures, right? So, all right, so this is what I replaced the tires with. 35, 12, 50, 18s, LTs. So, the number to beat is what, 2,200 pounds? So we go on over, 30 pounds isn't gonna work. See the 30? That's the PSI. Next one, 35, 2300. It's perfect. There's no change. Actually, the load carrying capacity goes up with this tire at 35 PSI. Remember, the smaller tire was only 2200. But that was the limit of that tire. See, this tire will go up. This will go up to 2500, 2700, 2900. This tire actually goes up to 3,000 pounds. It has more load carrying capacity because it can hold more air, right? The air pressure goes up. Hope that kind of makes sense for you. It's just I'm trying to make a quick video here.